Hi, my name is Slash Coleman. I'm the author of the Bohemian Love Diaries. This is my graphic novelty excerpt thingy. It's seven minutes after midnight. I'm standing in a silver shopping cart with a bad wheel in Harv's Meat Market and Grocery. I'm facing a standoff sandwich. My dad stands to one side. He's shirtless, wearing bleach by jeans with a deerskin lawn cloth on the front and his Nazi soldier helmet with fake pigtails on his head. With a thick black beard and roadkill clothing, he looks like a cross between Ringo Starr and Daniel Boone. Harvey, the store manager, has crazy red hair and a greasy face. He stands on the other side. The rest of my father's case slits is under his arm. My father's chest heaves up and down to the synthesizer and the soft drum beat. Spittle drips from his beard. Harvey Holmes is revenge. I'm not thinking about where my sisters are or where my mom is or how many times I've been in the same exact place before. For all I know, this is how every seven-year-old kid across America spends Saturday nights with his father, and I'm determined to make the most of it. Suddenly, Harvey swipes the open can of beer out of my dad's hands and makes a run for it. This is the dumbest thing ever. My father can't run at all, and he has a huge plumber's butt. Near the back of the store, Harvey yells something as he turns. My dad yells something as he After a short silence, Harvey shouts, Sell him the beer, Rosie! Out in the parking lot, my dad lights another cigarette. I climb on our motorcycle. We'll live up in the Yukon in an old school bus. We'll hunt for Kodiaks, fish for kings, and make a killing working on the pipeline. I shrug my shoulders. He doesn't say anything else. He just hands me the bag of licorice and puffs away on his cigarette. We are bohemians. It's an unspoken understanding that will remain an important part of our connection. He stares down at the empty highway like he's looking across the river. Neon signs flash like stars as far as the eye can see. He rearranges his painting easel on the back of the bike and straps the case of beer to it with a rubber cord. He kickstarts the bike and we pull away. Just beyond the foot peg, the lines in the road blur beside me. The motorcycle howls and I tighten my arms around. The pigtails of my dad's helmet fling out behind me and flap against mine. This is my template for travel. I will carry it with me through the rest of my life. One saturated with abandon and testosterone bound with some kind of twisted love plot. I rest my head against my dad's back and feel safe. I fall asleep within minutes.